Okay, I've actually got a very solid team fight comp. I think they've got really good scaling with the Vladimir and the Ezreal, and they've also got a pretty solid mid game spike too. So I think they're kind of playing towards their strength. Kill early. Just try and mitigate some of the bleeding up towards the top side. Here we go. Glacial Prison connects with the stun. Locks up Bowie down. The Human Plague has popped. And that is first blood. And once again, Selfmade goes top and gets the kill. Cold flashes in. Looking for Whirlip. No flash on the Vladimir. Umbral Trespass is enough to get the kill. And Cold can continue straight. Stunned up as Selfmade has the flash. Will be able to get away. Instead, trading and he drops in. Oh, the Red Buff! He ganked top. He got two. And SK come out on top. Selfmade, the MVP of SK. Plays yeah, of to sneak around, but there's a pink ward in that bush. Here we go, looking for the fight. Onto Whirlip. Has got the Sanguine Pool. Goes down. Hema Plague only hits onto Alfari. There's the Umbral Trespass as well, but the health regeneration on Whirlip's quite a lot. They do a good job of tower diving. Cold is not healthy enough to survive, though. And Whirlip gets a one for one. Really unfortunate that Whirlip was only able to land his ultimate onto Alfari. The drink. But again, more gold goes into the pocket of Alfari. He'll take himself another turret plate and go back to base. I think as well, Cold to win team fights pretty well at that two. Well, I think item we're going to see a team fight right now, man. Yeah, Mithy not going to be pulled in by the Infernal Chains. Doesn't land the knockoff. There he goes in with the flash. Patrick coming in from the side as well. Oh. Oh. Straight onto the Clister once again. Selfmade finds its mark. That prison is a homing beacon for the backline, and three members of Origin fall in a heartbeat. Selfmade is just insane. This man. Has like a whole oh, team fight win, they can continue to push, but really, I wish you haven't responded to this at all. They're gonna get another charge out of it. Alfari decides to stay up top, doesn't have the teleport, so he can't join the fight. Selfish is gonna dive underneath the tower, hits cold and Midney as well, but already that tower's very low. Here is a lot of damage coming out from Nuke Duck, though. The last man, not enough to knock down one. The world ender keeps alive, period, for the moment. Nuke Duck on that back line takes out one, but he's gonna get stunned up. He's down. Tower falls as well. Selfmade dodges away to the side, but Patrick is here. Finally joins the fight. That's one for him. Maybe this is the fight that gets Patrick back in the game. Gets period, that's two. Looking for the triple, the channel comes out. Patrick's so low, and Kai's shot there as well as the triple, and Patrick gets away! Great fight for Origin, they find SK out of position. SK dive underneath the tower. even out, Bedius. A second ago, a minute ago, I was saying 2,000 gold lead for SK. Now it's even out. We never really talked about this game is the synergy between... Ooh, never mind, don't have time. Fight the synergy between Alfari and Cold. He will play gone to Alfari. That's a lot of damage coming out from Whirlip. The Sanguine Pool will heal him up in just a second, but Alfari flashes away, and now Whirlip shouldn't be long for the Summoner's Rift. Knocked up by Ras and taken out by Alfari. Yeah, a little overextended there from Whirlip. He didn't have any vision in the bot side of the jungle. He didn't have his... But Something we didn't mention that I wanted to mention, but we might again not have time for as uh, Nuke Duck gets onto the oh, out. And, and Sterex probably would have helped him, but not for long in that fight. Let's go get the kill. And Pyrian is the one just, to secure it. Just want to say, I don't think Selfmade has missed the lane. It's opened up a lot of the map for them, and now Origin are trying to fight them around this Infernal Dragon. Infernal Chase will pull back Mithy, pops the ultimate. Teleport is actually used to train the fight. There's Mithy. Now Barry oh. pops the slicing match with the pit, but they do get the Infernal. Now, Patrick's pulled them back. The Hemoplex landed on him and Nuke Duck as SK now advanced through the river. Patrick's still running away, doesn't have that much health. Mithy sacrificed. A cold, Alfari and Nuke Duck need to go away. Selfmade misses one. The Selfmade glides past Cold, but Cold does land. SK is not continuing the chase, continuing though. the push. Tornado comes out. I'm not sure SK yeah, can so we'll ult onto okay. targets that you want, right? Because the cooldown is also very low. Fate's Call also works with it. Yeah, so that's a lot of setup. And here's the fight. You talked about something. The fight starts. Pimian pops the world ender. Goes into the resurrection. Fate's Call pulls him back. Nuke Duck not close enough. Another miss on the Glacial Prison. They catch out Crownshot. He's going to flash and jump away. So makes it zoning out Nuke Duck towards the top side of this. Untr Uncle Trespass on Crownshot. That's one down. Arjun find a good fight in their own jungle. Now they're going to turn towards the Baron, but can SK fight around it? Will yeah, Origin... the side of SK, trying to invade into OG's jungle. Oh, oh, well, oh, they've just went golden. That's another big that's misplay. Huge. SK making all these mistakes. Look, he's got flash off. flank. He's got flash off. The Mithy here with the flank. Slicing Mousing comes out. They catch out Dreams. Dreams jumps away. Piles a great Glacial Fisher over four. The Hemo play comes out as well. Worms go into the backline. New Duck's low. Last breath. Enough. He's still alive. The Hemo play didn't do enough work, but that's New Duck down. And now Pyrian having to run away from Patrick. Origin, do not pull the trigger on the Baron on the way back. Oh. Oh, oh, really good wall on self-made. That's one ultimate down. SK have all the vision around this, so Mithy goes in. There's a slicing match as well. And Fire jumps up the back line already. Crash was dead. Dreams is not soon to follow. Well, they've chased off by Cold. Really good stuff there from Origin. Made a decisive call. It got Round shot means that the Ezreal died almost instantly. Selfmate is still alive. Pyrian needs to be careful here. He He's popped the world ulti. ender. He just wants to get some damage. And oh, whoa, he gets a lot of damage down onto Patrick. Going to go into the resurrection. Selfmate here, Whirlip as well, trying to get in. But the wind wall will block him off the moment. Pyrian jumps across the wall. And the second, Alfari there with the chase, though. And Pyrian is down. And now you have to feel Origin call for the Baron. You have to do it now. Yeah, that was a misplay there from Pyrian. He shouldn't have tried to go for that. There was no ulti on Selfmate or Whirlip. They were never going to win that 3v5. He gives away his life. But Selfmate does still have the flash. He has the smile. 
spike. Can he get the steal away from Origin? Do still have the rend from Callista for the steal here. Crown shot coming in as well. Self made there. Mitty doing that frontline block. Crown shot coming in. Well, it there as well. Nuked up very low. Self made caught off by Mitty on the back line. Barrett down to a thousand. Self made flashes in, but Callista gets it. And that's already one down. Origin have lost a man. They've, lost, they've got two though. And this is just clean up crew for Patrick. That's two kills for him. There's the triple. Easy stuff for the Callista. And Origin finally cement a solid gold lead. Yes, certainly has. Very, very mobile. A little unconventional, but it is certainly working out for the side of Origin. And I think the fact that Alfari's been able to get onto the back line, Patrick has remained unscathed to siege with, whereas the Elder Dragon offers you a lot more team fight value. Here we are. Ooh, Dream's gonna stumble into cold. Straight into cold. TP comes in straight behind them as well. Looks like Origin just won the fight. Alfari there. Crown shot maybe a bit out of position already. We see Dreams go down and the fight on the top side is huge as well. Patrick just opening up onto Wurlop. Hemo play comes out. There's the stopwatch as well. It's Crown a double kill for Alfari. Crown shot's dead. Patrick's cleaning up on the other side as well. This is too easy for Origin. They take down everyone but Pyrian and they can turn their eyes straight towards the Baron. Yeah, Origin just melt through SK here. I doubt it. Oh, the split. They might even just be able to close it out here. Inhibits down. Have a lot of damage from the Yasuo, from the Callista, and from the Ken and Origin. Looking for that second win. Pyrian trying to stop them in their tracks. Last breath comes out. Pyrian's pop the world. Ender continues to clear out that minion wave, which is important. Here's Dreams as well. Still eight seconds before Crown Shot comes up. Resurrection on Pyrian. But already the second Nexus Tower, the target for Patrick. He will take down Dreams. The second Nexus Tower follows. And finally, Origin will get their second win in the LEC. It was definitely a close game for a very long time. That linchpin moment was definitely when Crown Shot got caught out in the enemy jungle. Him losing his summoner spells meant the Origin had a very easy target to dive onto in the following team fights. Alfari got onto him pretty consistently. And we saw some great win walls as well coming out oh, from uh, Zuktuk in the mid lane. I felt like that the individual members of Origin definitely played better today. Patrick's positioning in team fights would, was definitely improved upon. Perhaps outside of that single dragon fight where he couldn't really get involved much, I feel like he was very solid. And while I was skeptical of their draft, it was clearly something that they came with.